Okay, so now that we're in the car and it's not windy and ruining all the audio and stuff like that, how are you guys? It's been a while. I haven't talked to you guys in a month. Um, I decided to take off a month and kind of just regather myself again because I kind of just wasn't happy doing videos for a little bit. I was, to be honest, I kind of just fell into that, um, that comparison trap. I was comparing myself to other people that inspired me and I just started comparing myself and I wanted anything that I was putting out there, anything that I was creating, it just wasn't doing it for me and I was comparing myself to a point where it wasn't I wasn't having fun, I wasn't enjoying it, and it just became something that was more, it was more like draining than anything else. Um, so I just decided to take off a break and regather myself because I needed to do that for myself and kind of just to remember why I did this. When I first started this, it was basically just to keep myself accountable, um, to help me with my memory, or just kind of remember things, um, to build a community of like-minded people, and also just to kind of explore my creativity, because I've always been interested in video, and it's just always been something that intrigued me, and I've always wanted to learn. But since it's been a while, I figured I'd um, talk about some things that have been going on in my life. I started watching Vampire Diaries with Ryan, um, I've never actually watched the whole season all the way through. I've watched a few episodes, but that's it. Um, and that's like the only time Ryan and I really get together to be able to just like kind of enjoy each other's company alone. I've also been, like always, just playing around some recipes. Some of the recipes that I've been playing around, if you saw me on Instagram, you know that I've been playing with um, some gluten-free, soy-free, anything that can cause like um, eczema flare-ups. I've been trying to stay away from that, not very successfully, but I've been trying to stay away from things that can cause eczema flare-ups. Um, if you saw that I made some kumbo with my cousin, it is like a Filipino classic um, dessert finger food kind of thing. It's basically a banana fritter um, that we used to eat when we were little with our grandparents and um, he's been visit he was visiting from Chico so we made our basically our own recipe for it and so we just called it the Freddy and Krista original. I also made a banana bread, these little banana bread balls that were a mistake. I used, um, I was trying to see if macadamia flour or hazelnut flour could be used as a sub substitute. It can, it just, you need to do it in a different way because it won't rise the same. And yeah. I've also started working out again because your girl's booty is non-existent. I hear people telling me all the time, Krista, where's your ass? Krista, you got a flat back. Krista, I don't see your ass anymore. What happened to it? It's like, you know, people get older, okay? Body, gravity, earth, age, it takes over, okay? That's what happens. And so, I got tired of hearing people and I got tired of looking at my flat back, so I decided to purchase one of Katya's workout programs. If you know who Katya Henry, Henry is, you have seen her ass and you know that it is like the most voluptuous, peach perfect thing you've ever seen in your whole entire life. So I decided to purchase one of her workout programs just because I've never done that before and I just, she's got a nice one so I, I, I think she can help me too. So that's why I purchased it and she also had a meal plan. I've always wanted to follow another person's meal plan and she does like vegan meal plans so yeah. But honestly to be honest like I didn't really follow the meal plan just because it's pretty basic and I was like I can make better stuff that are within these the criteria so I decided to just kind of use it as a baseline and then just kind of like wing it and put my little own spice to it so and then that's also like an eight week program right now I'm starting week five I actually only did the first um, three weeks and I'm doing five right now I skipped week four because lately I actually found out 
um, within the last two weeks that I probably was going through moisture withdrawal and I'm 99.9% .9 positive I was going through moisture withdrawal because anything that I would put onto it, whether that's like oil, lotion, Vaseline, um, anything, it would literally dry up within like five seconds. So um, I started doing research and I noticed that um, you can go through moisture withdrawal and you can go through topical steroid withdrawal all things that i am was going through and i'm still currently going through um i've suffered from eczema my whole entire life and so it got to a point where i was just like i don't want to feel like this anymore i don't want to have to constantly be adding moisturizer and things like that to my skin when it's dry and um last week i started um my moisture withdrawal um, treatment if you've ever had eczema or anything like that I really highly suggest you just quit using moisturizer and see where it ha takes you um, I found out that you can go through moisture withdrawal if you actually put on too much moisturizer and don't let your body do what it needs to do to create the platelets and everything like that to protect you from the elements and create those essential oils naturally um, it got to a point where anything you put onto my skin would dry up right away and then irritate my skin. So I cut everything cold turkey, even basically water. Only time I put any type of moisturizer on my face is in the morning at night when I am just washing my face. I wash my face with water and that's it. Um, and so I started that last week and it was seriously the most excruciating, the most trying experience i've ever had and like i can't imagine what other people have been going through when theirs are their um eczema and symptoms are worse because this whole part of my face right here was basically a huge scab last week and this week like you can see that it's still dry it's still flaky it's still patchy um it's red i have kind of like elephant skin in those areas it's rough but it's not anything like it was last week thank goodness it was seriously like very it made me feel very self-conscious and it hurt really bad to even talk so i felt like a i was just kind of like swerving people left and right trying not to talk to them because i was ashamed of what i looked like and it also just was uncomfortable for me what to just talk because it hurt i didn't want to um open the the um scabs that were already there um so yeah i've been starting to do that and i'm really happy with where my skin is now i just want to get to a point where my body can do what it needs to do um and if you guys saw today i did i meant to get my blood test today but i had the wrong day it's actually next week and so i'm getting my blood test because i want to understand my body more i've been on this plant-based diet for going on three years so i want to make sure my body is where it needs to be um nutritionally all that kind of good stuff and um i also want to get allergy tested because i want to see what causes these flare-ups exactly um or what foods and things like that will cause these flare-ups um and yeah oh and so and each month I'm going to be starting a different challenge. So for the month of May, I'm going to be focusing all on eczema and my skin, just things that cause the breakouts and things like that. So, and like food um, to cure my eczema and just really listen to my body. So if that's something you guys have ever suffered from or anything like that when it comes to your skin, eczema, um, stay tuned for the next few episodes for May because um, that's what I'm going to be talking about Um I know I was supposed to be doing that get your life together challenge but I started to realize that you know these things that other people are doing or implementing in their life may not be something that I need essentially need right now um, maybe it doesn't and doesn't pertain to where I am at in my life um, I have definitely already done some of them and things like that but I wanted to gear them more towards what I need like for right now I need to work on my skin I need to get back into working out and things like that so um, if you guys want to follow along each month I'll be doing a different challenge if you guys have any suggestions let me know but yeah um, 
I hope you guys are all doing great. I haven't seen you guys in a long time. So let me know what you guys have been up to because I've seriously missed you guys. It's been a little weird being away from all of this and it's actually like weird being on camera again. It's like, I'm like, is this normal? Like, do we do this still? But yeah. I hope you guys are all doing great and I'll see you guys next week. Oh yeah, I'm not... I'm trying not to post on Saturdays anymore just because I want Saturdays to be a free, completely free day. Um, so I think I'm going to be posting in sometime in the middle of the week, but I don't know exactly yet. I kind of just have to figure out the flow of all that. So once we get there, hang with me and we'll figure this all out. And I'll see you guys next week. And yeah, ta ta la Everything we had Ready for whatever Sliding up ahead We're getting Okay So good In every single way We're doing this together Every step we take Closer to each other So much to discover Getting